Now let's talk about the performance of a board, what you should pay attention to, and what you should ignore. Electric skateboard manufacturers like to highlight their board's top speed for marketing, even though most boards on the market have roughly the same top speed. I don't personally care about the top speed, but many people do. Just don't make the mistake of thinking that a higher top speed means higher acceleration or more torque. When shopping for a car, many people look at horsepower and 0-60 to 60 times to get a rough idea of how powerful a car is compared to another car. But for electric skateboards, it's not so simple. I don't know of any e-skate manufacturer that measures acceleration. Obviously, you can't measure the 0-60 to 60 mile per hour time for most boards. But there isn't any similar standard for e-skating, like a 0-100 to 100 meter time. And there isn't a single metric like horsepower that you can use to compare two boards. For electric skateboards, you'd have to take into consideration things like voltage and max current, motor KV and size, gear ratio, etc. Even for the same size motors, the difference in windings and magnets affect performance. So unfortunately for electric skateboards, you can't just look at manufacturer specs and know which board would perform better the same way that you can with cars. If you really care about straight line performance, I guess you just have to dig through a bunch of reviews. Some people would disagree, but in my opinion, the speed of an electric skateboard is one of the least important things to consider, mainly because most of the boards that I think you should look at have similar acceleration and top speeds anyway. Something more important that you should consider is the brake performance. The brake performance of different boards can vary a lot, and this is one area that frequently disappoints me on boards that are otherwise really good. Most boards do not have brakes that behave like brakes in a car. In a car, you can slam your foot on the brake pedal to make the car brake as hard as possible. But on many electric skateboards, if you pull back hard on the brake control, the board just gently slows down and lets you slam into the back of the car in front of you. If you'll never ride in traffic or around pedestrians, I guess having soft brakes doesn't really matter, but personally, I highly prefer a board that can brake hard. Not only do I want to avoid traffic accidents, I also want to brake hard for a turn the same way you would in a track car. An electric skateboard is just more fun when you can brake hard. This video is sponsored by Defective. Get your Dequan merch and e-skate inspired apparel and stickers at Defective.com. Defective, not defective. That's D-F-F-E-C-T-I-V-E dot com.